Yeah, you got to put them on the spot. If you want it, you got to go and get it, right? Yeah, so what do you want the people to do? What do we need their help with? We need help with, uh, you know, growing this platform, man. And yeah. how are we going to get them to help us? Show us the support, you know? Be there for us. Share us with a friend. Yeah, man. Guys, that's appreciate it. everything. What yeah, episode is 100%. it? 41. There's no way. <laughs> 41. There's no way. There's no way it's 41. 41. It is. It episode is. 41, man. But nope. we didn't have anything lined up for that. Hey, man, I just did it. 41. All right, let's get the intro going. Come on, man. Welcome, welcome, guys. Another episode, episode 41. Yes. Huddle Talk TV. We're back here with the boys, Mike, Nick, and myself, Khaled. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, it's hot as hell, man. I did not prepare for this weather. It I is. came out thinking, you know, I could wear a sweater, but nope. Yeah. I was wrong, man. I should have just kept the t-shirt on. That's okay. Canadian, yeah. Canadian weather, man. It'll always keep you... That yeah. was Keep a, you on your toes. Was that the origination of that meme? Like, Which keep one? them guessing? Yeah, you know that, that mean? Ne- never, never let your uh, haters know your next move. Yeah, literally. literally, literally enemies, that's the weather. Never let your enemies <laughs> they, know your next move. They should bring that meme back with just a Canadian forecast. <laughs> yeah, Monday through Sunday. <laughs> yeah, we, we honestly... The we final get like, boss. <laughs> yeah, the final boss. I feel like we get like three weeks of prime weather and yeah. it just gets like... Hotter than Florida. <laughs> like, yeah, and but then, like the, the humidity, at least. Yeah. We always talk about the humidity. And then just right? a random storm just to spice things up, you know, keep you <laughs> yeah. on your toes, you it's, know? It's hard to acclimate to this. Yeah. <laughs> Throw a little Bro. tornado you'll, in there you'll, on the you'll wear You'll wear some shorts in the early afternoon. Next thing you know, in the evening, you got to wear a sweater mm-hmm. and Bro, sweats, man. That's why I like these shorts. I wore these. I'm going to start abusing these shorts every podcast. Oh, yeah? Because they're like uh, they're like sweatpant material. Okay. So, like, in the. Keeps mo- you warm. Keeps me warm, but it's also short, so I'm not going to get too mm-hmm. hot, right? But for the people who are watching, guys, listen, we appreciate yeah. and love every single one of you that show up every week we got 100%. nothing to sell you we don't have any sponsors we've I been don't. contacted by a few people to mm-hmm. be honest mm-hmm. and we've never actually taken anybody up and the reason for that is because we just want to be uh, integral to ourselves and you guys and not have a message in for uh, exchange all we ask is you guys support us exactly. uh, continue to watch every week throw the engagement leave a comment save us on spotify give us five stars wherever you're listening mm-hmm. uh that's our piece we're going to leave with you and 100%. uh that's it but yeah. episode 41 i don't think you guys know i was telling mike soy tet the guy who sings 41 yeah someone love you and there's you a new track some- first of all new track huge banger and you love some literally if the guy was in north america next yeah. justin bieber like he yeah, just man. He, did, he needs to ch- a change of environment that's a, that's the peak mm. person right there that's comfortable you know hold, on, is? hold on hold <laughs> on you hold think on. he would get canceled bro, he's, so quick he's comfortable here. the reason he's comfortable okay bro. but let's let's it's fun that, fun that you mentioned that because the thing about this guy is he's literally getting this concrete mansion built in the middle of a jungle in vietnam mm-hmm are you serious? Yes, in the middle of rural Vietnam with his YouTube money. And guess what? What? He's staying true to himself. Mm. Now all of a sudden you're telling the guy he's got to come to North America. You ever saw Hannah Montana when she got plucked out? You're right. Came man. to LA. There's a whole song about that. Bro, right? a- everybody on Disney Channel. And they and <laughs> what, do they, what do they get? They all end yeah. up with a drug problem. And then... Uh, or fall off. Or fall off. And a couple of years later, they talk about their sobriety. Yeah. So it has been on the wagon yeah At most yeah. he's just got a rap problem and that's yeah. about it dude yeah. so yeah the videos of him going into the rivers skinning the rats and then he he literally floats the guts down the river yeah, yeah. and i'm like how is youtube not it's so funny that you talk about like uh when you were talking about like disney channel and and yeah. how the the characters changed over time i was watching like a little documentary i don't know how i it, it just came up as like a recommended video right so i was watching it on uh, the sweet life of zach and cody and what mm, happened to them now a right classic you know that, that's one of the best shows that i used to watch growing yeah, up so yeah. and it was just talking about how like usually with all these including them they have like this problem transitioning yeah. from being a kid to like this adult. Yeah. Like and, the and world will still see you as both. Right? Exactly. And you're trying yeah. to grow in that environment, yeah. but they still want you to be that kid. And yeah. you're trying to detach yourself from that. Image. You know, exactly. And, and if they find it difficult, like finding new roles, yeah, yeah. you know, like, and a lot of them just fall off, you know, like, and they're not able to like, you know, find something that they can enjoy. I mean, one of them, I think it was Zach. Uh, he ended up having his own, like uh, he, he brews alcohol now somewhere. Um, and he's doing that now, but yeah, but bro, it's it's like man, any Netflix. So we were watching, I think maybe one episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, mm-hmm. right? Not, a late nineties. Oh, TV back. Show. Okay, but listen to this. What? All these kids are in high school, and I'm looking. I'm like, these guys are like 25, <laughs> right? And it's yeah. just, it's the same but, thing too with like Netflix with all these shows, right? That's yeah. the bare It's meat. like 25 year olds are playing 16 Acting, year olds. Yeah, they're not so, really. That so age. imagine, and Zach and Cody, you're an eight year old playing an eight year old, and somewhere along the way, they're like, okay, you're 16. 
You're still eight. Yeah. <laughs> right? I can see you're growing. Right? But just we, start shaving before you come to the set. Exactly. Please. And then they're like, we're not giving you a role as like an 18 year old to like at least 25. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, you know, in st- uh, like a situation like that, I feel like they should give them like transition roles. Or at least if you're going to, if you're going to still go with that franchise, at least yes. transition them into like a new lifestyle that they've, uh, like, you know, like Zach and Cody, they were in the hotel. Yeah. You know, these are these little kids that are just bothering, you know, the butler and whatever try to give them something where they transition into like something else, like, you know, like adulthood or something, you know? But, but the problem is there's what a if, very like... What if they wanted out though? Yeah. Oh, that too. Yeah, of course. That's an option. But and with them, they wanted to continue it. You but know that the, for di- Yeah, for, for sure. I was, I was watching it. Yeah. And, and Disney Channel will not extend it. They just laughed at them. Yeah. Okay, but hold on. You know? I think what we need to acknowledge too is I think as people, mm. we watch kids shows. Then one day we just start watching the shows our, our older siblings watch Facts. that are adults. The, that's true. Yeah, There's yeah. no like yeah 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 tween Spike shows. TV, bro. Exactly. We 13 years old. Know. All of a sudden, I don't you're know all where, a thousand yeah. ways to die. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Is that a kid's show? It's not. And what were you watching before that? Probably yeah, exactly, like yeah. Disney's Spo- Recess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nine <laughs> months earlier. <laughs> not, not a smooth transition at all, bro. You went way too hard. <laughs> but it's true, right? Like, yeah, it is. It bro, is. It is. I remember. I remember it was. Um, what was it? It was um, like Modern Modern Family. Modern Family is like new one. What was it yeah. Full House? Smart Full Kid? House. Yeah. And I remember I was always watching that stuff. And then all of a sudden it was like CSI Miami. Yeah. Right? My oh, mom yeah. started letting me watch. Yeah. Law and Order. I have no business. Detectives to, Unit. I have no business watching this, right? <laughs> but it's she, what she wants yeah. to watch, yeah. and it's just like, okay, I'll watch it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy because you go from Door the Explorer trying to find these little things with her, and then you go to like Law and Order Detectives Unit, you exactly. know, trying to solve uh, these cases. I didn't really. I know Dora the Explorer. But yeah, I really, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really watch. You didn't Dora really watch it. Yeah, we thing, we were you know? older. You, you we were too older. older. We're a bit, yeah, a bit older. We're a bit that was, too older that was for yeah, that. Yeah, that was my younger sister. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. younger siblings. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But, but but Sweet Life had a transition. They had a show after. Uh, Sweet Life on Deck. They had Sweet Life on Deck. Yeah, but they were still considered kids. Yeah, but they did that for like at least three years. There's no way they did. And they were they were actually teenagers going into adults at that point. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. They weren't they, hiding it. Like they were like 16, 17. Yeah, they try to do. See, they they try to actually present it to uh, Disney. They said, you know what? We'll give you another script yeah. where it's like we have this. Uh, there's another guy that moves into the hotel, yeah. and he has like a, a young son. Yeah, and they end up going to that hotel and okay. meet this little kid, okay. and basically help him get through the same things they were going through. And that's what they try to pitch to them. And see, Disney's like, nah, see, but like <laughs> move every, on fam. But like every TV show, this <laughs> is the on. problem though. Yeah. They all have the exact same episodes. Right. Like I was telling Chelsea, I was like in every like sitcom, there's an episode where the power goes out yeah. and they're stuck remembering things. Yeah. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then at the end of it, they realize they don't hate each other as yeah, much, right? Yeah, yeah, That was literally, I remember too, the episode of Will Smith. Do you remember? Um, Fresh uh, Prince Fresh, Fresh Prince. Yeah. Do you remember the one episode where he's like stuck in the closet and this was like a night where they're supposed to be going yes. out the power oh, goes out? Yes, 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 yes. Every single TV show. Yeah. And the, every single TV show is a Halloween episode. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. all have like... Yeah. All Similar those, themes. Even, even Similar Stevens. Themes, yeah. uh, they all yeah. have them, yeah. dude. Boy Meets World. They're all going to have the same Exactly. And they don't have to change shit about it no, because they know it's successful yeah. and they know as long as the the theme remains consistent right they have the formula why yeah. change it right exactly yeah man it's it's and it's easy to please kids i guess you know like uh especially with the like if you keep it with those themes and stuff like that they could it, it resonates with them right so i guess yeah if it ain't broke don't break it right so it's funny <laughs> you say that too i remember 2017 was peak Fortnite. That's when Fortnite went crazy. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of kids. And so the reason I bring it up, I watched a really good documentary on YouTube. Man, documentary, YouTube videos. It's the best. 29 world. minutes hits yes, so hard. Exactly. And it's such good info. It's quickest 30 And these minutes. guys are talking about mm-hmm. the rise and fall of Fortnite, right? Because you notice like, Dude, you take an unbiased view. You look at Twitch. You want to see what the most popular game is. Look what most people are streaming. It's right, like 100%. Hands down. That's, that's how is, you know. Right? Yeah. And so, anyways, the rise and fall of Fortnite was like 2017. They were saying it was really interesting. Like everybody, literally, everybody it. in their mom. Because it was like the first battle royale, and mm-hmm. it was free, and everybody was into it. Man, it didn't matter like who you were. And they were talking about one of the one of the days. Keyword free. <laughs> do free. And then one of the days that it absolutely popped off. I think it was 2017, a couple months later, and Ninja was playing with Drake. Yes. And it was the highest to yes. this day yeah. concurrent viewer count, 616,000. Yeah. <laughs> he was playing with, with Drake, right? Yeah. And that's literally, boom, it went to the went to the moon, right? But mm-hmm. then what happened is that's like the, the whole uh, documentary basically says like the skill curve immediately. Well, for people who are like terrible, you jump in the game and have fun. 
right? Without having to know how to build or practice. And then they said a couple years later, they released a couple modes to help people learn how to build and all that. And like the skill cap increased so much. So what they started doing is they started adding like newbie guns into the game and like mechs and planes and stuff like that to give like the new players a chance. Mm -hmm. And they basically said like the skilled players could still abuse that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So at a certain point, man, everything has a life cycle. Exactly. 100%. And it's funny because uh, I was reading actually that they, they got rid of the building now. You can't build in there's the some Fortnite games, just to level the playing games. field. Yeah, but then, bro, yeah. it's like, look at that. All the kids that grew up, even playing Fortnite, we, we were old enough. We, we, like, witnessed it. We don't know how to play a whole lot. Yeah. But I remember, like, all of a sudden, those kids grew up, and they started playing other games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, to try and get that evolution of kids that are on, like, the backwash of the right. older siblings who are like, right. Fortnite sucks. Exactly. What do you think the younger kids are going to do? Yeah. They'll be like, yeah, yeah, Fortnite sucks. Exactly. Because my older it's, brother said that. Yeah. Right? No, it's so funny like, because my, a cycle. my brother was that Fortnite generation, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and he, he, now he looks at it in disgust. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Nobody plays yeah, Fortnite people, on yeah, Overwatch. It's, all, it's yeah. the thing to laugh at almost. Yeah, yeah exactly. It, it, man. it moves quick. Wasn't Fortnite the Fortnite was the OG battle royale? So pop yeah. players unknown was like game, the first right? one. It was like it was a couple years before that, but it was like an independent, and it was really glitchy. Oh. And it was like forty bucks on Steam, so you had to pay for it. So okay. The, so H one Z one. So yeah. Fortnite making themselves free Absolutely. and being successful, it was basically the, the first. free. Is but what, the free was what got everybody because yeah. once uh -huh. you downloaded it, then you you know you, you fell for the hype. Yeah, the kids are buying. The all these skins, passes, your the, guns. Totally, yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't bad at first because I played that game for a couple months mm -hmm. almost when it first... It was a good game. It was good, for, yeah. Like, I was playing it, was it too. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, and it was I different could, as fresh. I, I could get wins and I was semi-successful. Yeah. And then things started changing when kids could start buying stuff. I wasn't buying things. Yeah. And I realized my time's up. With yeah, this yeah, game. yeah, 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 yeah. Like you I'm not, know, I'm, once, once you start anymore. investing in, uh, in, in a game and paying money for, for little things inside the game, Broski, you're in too deep. Microtransactions, yeah. dude. And then that's, that's the other they thing they were you. saying, too. They're like, man, they, uh, they started realizing that they were like old skins that they were re-releasing. And really? Pe and people started getting really mad, thinking that like, I'm wow. buying the skin because it's like limited run Halloween 2016. And oh. then they started like opening up the vault again. And people oh. They like, say OG, the OG skin. <laughs> exactly. That's how they get you, bro. Right? And then people yeah. start opening up the vault again for like $20 skins. And people were really mad about that. Yeah, right? that's so But it, it's crazy. Everybody's always playing on your downfall. Like in a, in yeah. a twist like that. Yeah. yeah dude, one of the most popular games literally on the planet of all time. Short lived. And they really peaked in COVID time too, that's right? It, man. Yeah. yeah. And then boom. It's like, dude, it's still super, super popular. South America, free game, all that. Like. Really? Uh, yeah, it's still, the it's still 100 percent super of popular. But like, okay, like, I didn't man, know that. Fell, I haven't heard much of it. That's why. But man, their their trajectory is like they're way off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you but, have a lot more kids nowadays who are. I mean, they're smart though. They capitalized while it was hot, all, selling all those skins and uh, you know all that uh, battle royale passes yeah, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, smart man. Yeah. So man, you were telling me about the gym, man. What's going on, man? Got you hurt right now. No man, we're just old. <laughs> Literally, I would say we're the OGs, but it's for y'all. We're the OGs. Yeah, yeah, facts. But like <laughs> after them, if we have their blessing, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're right <laughs> under them. Oh, we're so the they're next. on the green yeah, screen. But yeah. they are. They are like this. Yeah, no, no, not for, <laughs> for y'all. We're not gonna disrespect yeah, yeah, them like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, yeah, no, I'm fine being the old heads. Of, of yeah, hundred percent, bro. Like you realize now, it's not like when you used to hit the gym when you were younger. You got to stretch. You got to prepare yourself. Yeah, you know? yeah. But and you'd be hitting the sauna heavy, eh? Dude, you know what? It's just fun because every once in a while there's a weird conversation you walk into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just like those. Yeah. Man, I think it was... Yeah, you're a rare breed. Mm -hmm. Why? No, I'm just saying you're a rare breed. Because like, you like, you're, you like you're talking one of the with people, few people in the, in the, in the sauna. people who actually will walk in looking for that. Yeah, I want to hear you for talk. that awkward yeah, yeah. conversation. I want to hear yeah. you guys whispering yeah. as if like, it doesn't matter any volume. Like, yeah. We can still hear exactly what you're saying, yeah. whether you whisper to your buddy or not. You know uh, what's funny? I was uh, reading an article about the treadmill, right? The origin okay. of the treadmill. Okay. And, uh, you know, we, we look at the treadmill as like a form of punishment. You know, like nobody wants to go on the treadmill and run for 30 minutes, you it's, know? It's just very taxing to it, try and figure out like the yeah, right pace. Exactly. I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I love it. You love it? <sighs> Man. And in fact, we were just talking there the other day because yeah. he went for a run, like an actual run outdoors for the yeah. first time in quite a while, and he was dead. Yeah. And he was like, holy crap, I can't believe it. Am I really this out of shape? Yeah, yeah. Because you can actually burn quite a lot of calories doing the treadmill, and you can lose weight and lose fat, and it can be noticeable within a month. Yeah. But it's totally different from being on a sidewalk or cement yeah. and running for 30 minutes. Because not keeping that pace. Five minutes into that, and you're dead. I can mm. go an hour on the treadmill and not feel a thing. Really? Mm -hmm. Damn, bro. I, could, I couldn't do that. <laughs> but you know what's so funny? Because originally... So the treadmill was invented by a British engineer, as well, William Cubitt, right? And this was like in 1817. Okay. And it was actually initially used for as a form of punishment. 
uh, oh, for, wow. for, for prisoners. For, for, prisoners? for prisoners, yeah. So, like, you know, instead of giving prisoners tasks that were, like, fruitful, like, okay, you know what, go to the yard and you'll spend a couple hours in the yard. At least you're, you're, you're accomplishing something, something yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So they looked at the treadwheel as, like, something useless. You know, so they'll have them up to on, on the treadwheel for like up to five to six hours. And they use that as like a way to like get rid of the death penalty. And instead of using that, just, you know what, get them to, to run on the, and this is useless. The treadmill is useless, you know, and, and, and they're not really getting anything out of it. Wow. So then now actually, now that we actually use it in the fitness world as something, you know, to burn calories. So and that whatnot, was, you know, that was their one step down from the death penalty. Yeah, man. Yeah. Run forever. Yeah. Run yeah. Until yeah. Until yeah. Yeah. Run yeah. until you, yeah. You're, because you're, they, I guess they didn't have fall. it in their heads that this is old. This is a form of fitness, you know, like. Five to so. six hours at that point is not it's not fitness, it's torture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Literally just forcing a guy to run. Literally. Stationary. Basically. Literally. That's crazy. Literally. You guys yeah. you guys remember the movie The Longest Yard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam yeah, Sandler. Yeah, Adam yeah Sandler. come on. Why was bro? Adam Sandler in it's that the football movie, movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. But like That's it's like, hardly about sports. Oh, what, what was it about again? It's like he goes to jail as like a somebody who cheated in a football game. Yeah. Right, and creates a football team creates in a the football jail. team against the guards. In, in yes. the jail against Dude, the guards. I remember that soundtrack by Nelly, Here Comes a Boom. When, <laughs> <laughs> when they're playing, bro, nothing I don't think is giving me goosebumps yeah, to this yeah, day. But, oh, man. And I remember what was a huge, like, grow, like seven foot tall guy that they get. Oh, yes. 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 that guy, he's in a bunch of like movies as that same kind of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like yeah, the yeah, Mongoloid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 One, my, my favorite thing, too, isn't Chris Rock in that? And he's like, he's the hamburger guy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the yeah, guy. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The guy yes. Yeah. Man, sports movies always hit different. I remember, remember the Titans. It was yeah, one of my yeah, all-time yeah. favorite movies, yeah. man. All time. You, you, you watch that too, right? Of course. Come like, on, bro. I'm not, I'm not a sports movie guy. Though. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. One, one thing you can trust about Adam Sandler, though, even the six or seven like serious movies he's done in his mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. they're not really serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like there's that bit of. Adam Sandler to him. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. the longest yard, isn't it? Like, I don't really view that as yeah. some people do, movie. but it's almost I think he like... Had, he had one yeah. recent too, right? Uncut Gems? Uncut Gems. That was, that was, a, good that was a good one. That, I liked that's it. Actually, that yeah, yeah, that that's good. actually one of my favorite yeah. Adam Sandler. Yeah, but yeah. even that, there's like... A bit, it's like... Yeah, but... Are you acting or are you just being Adam Sandler? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I can't yeah. tell. His, like, his fit is like the most New York thing yeah. ever with like the metallic <laughs> gym shorts. Yeah. And the, the sunglasses. Below his knees, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like the undone basketball and shoes. And he's like the, uh, I can't remember the, the actress's name. The undone basketball shoes gets me every time. Yeah. I can't remember the actress's name. That's where, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's in that movie with him yeah. but at one scene he's like getting off like, oh yeah yeah, like, yeah 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 so yeah, yeah. awkward yeah man. yeah yeah i remember that so <laughs> do, you, awkward. do you guys remember the one time adam sandler somebody caught a video of him walking around toronto and oh. somebody's like your netflix movie suck <laughs> no way <laughs> oh my god yo they did him dirty Come bro on, why are you gonna man. do that why why you gonna adam do sandler that? is one of the most humblest like Dude. like most humble actors out there he's out you could catch him on on youtube ra random runs in la bro and new york playing yeah, he, with people he, he playing basketball with, with people. the people yeah he just yeah. goes out with the people yeah. that's awesome i love that stuff with I, a super dad fit i imagine yeah. he's got like a big wallet He's oh, one of those guys that just imagine who's got a big one. Okay, money for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay, yeah, yeah. fine. You guys squeeze me. Right? Yeah. He's always like the, the Jew, rich Jew guy. Yeah. <laughs> who's Yo, always man. giving. Yeah, 100%, bro. But he's an excellent actor. And it's funny that you were talking about, oh, they caught another random guy. Uh, they caught him randomly in Toronto. They caught uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, too, uh, randomly in Toronto uh, recently, too. <laughs> How did you say his, his last bike. name? Yeah. Uh, I heard you, that, too. How did you say I ain't going to do it. Yo. Shorts. Shorts of what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, brother, what? Party R fam. <laughs> we heard that. Oh my God. Shout out, Bro. shout out Arnold. Oh, shout out Arnold, fam. No amount of first name basis. Yeah, exactly. That's the homie stole. Yeah. You, you know? guys ever watch those um, actor roundtables? No, no. You've never seen any of them, dude. I don't know anything about pop culture. Yes. Okay, well they do the uh, actors roundtables. They're they're on YouTube. I mm -hmm. believe it's done by like Variety. Yeah. But I saw one re re It's not even new, but I saw it recently with Adam Sandler. And he's with like, sometimes they get the strangest group of actors together. And it's really interesting. It'll be like 30 minutes of them just discussing life, discussing careers with each other. And right. they don't usually know each other that well, besides that they're from like maybe Hollywood or whatever. So this one was like Adam Sandler, Tom Hanks, Shia LaBeouf, um, Robert De Niro, mm. Jamie Foxx, like, yeah. and then uh, Adam Driver. Yeah, and it was super strange. It's a random but that, assembly. But it's a super was, random assembly, so random. but they have like such a great appreciation for each other. Yeah, and like they're able to. Are they holding hands? No, the table's pretty pretty round. Okay, okay. Maybe maybe it was filmed during the pandemic because it okay. looked like they were. Oh, uh, like feet yeah, away. social distancing. Yeah. yeah, social distancing quite a bit. But, yeah, but yeah, it's cool. I, and that's Adam Sandler. You can tell he's 
the exact same as all of his characters yeah, yeah, in that. Yeah, but yeah. everyone else seems well, maybe Robert De Niro's the and same. And Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox, I feel like he's like the same guy. Well, Jimmy Fox was a uh, Jimmy Fox was a comedian before an actor. Did you know that? Bro, oh. Like like stand up and all that. I didn't know about stand up, but I knew he had like shows and stuff like that. Yeah, he had some shows and movies, but uh, he was a stand up comedian too. And then I don't remember exactly for whatever reason he decided to go into acting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or or try like serious acting, exactly, and getting yeah. that. And he found it difficult, and he had to like really practice and practice and get more and more roles. Yeah. And then he realized he can't just go back to comedy after no, that because no. he lost like he yeah. lost it. It's like something yeah. you have to practice, right? Man, Jamie Foxx is so talented, man. When it comes to like even just movies, he's a comedian, he's a singer, and he's a really good singer. Underrated. He you can play like how many instruments? Mm -hmm. You know, like he's just like the peak of like. Talent, like peak talent. Well, I think you know? I think he's all one around of those, talent. I think he's one of those guys though that like he's not near the top of anything. Yeah, but he's good but at he's everything. Very good at, at everything. Many things. Yeah, exactly. And he does it like he just wants to try. A bunch yeah, of yeah. Kind of like yeah. our boy Nemo's. Yeah. Oh, Nemo Naz. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. good at everything. Or, or Nemo, we respect you, bro. But just get your brother to reply to his emails. We promise we're fun. <laughs> so we can get you on here, we gotta bro. Get you on this podcast. Hundred percent. Now that we we'll remember, we're just gonna we're yeah, bring you up like four yeah, more yeah, times. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, Being man. left on red never never hurt so bad. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right, man. It's all good, man. It's all good. We we were recently watching the show Love on the Spectrum. Netflix. Never heard of it, dude. You gotta watch it. It is literally so funny. Man. Yeah, what's it, it about? Is so funny is people with autism trying to date in the states. Wow, that's messed up. It's not. <laughs> yeah, why are you messed up? No, 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 bro. No, bro, because like the I look at it, I'm like, yo, I don't think I can watch something like that, bro. bro. It is so funny because these people are so brutally honest. And they don't mean to be rude about anything. Like, they're not trying to be rude. Yeah. But his mom is saying, like, this one dude is uh, about to go on a date. His mom's like, we're so proud of you. You've come such a long way. He's like, when are you going to be done talking? Right? But he doesn't mean it in a bad way. He <laughs> means it in, like, an autistic way. But they're very, way. yeah, they're very... <laughs> blunt. Blunt, <laughs> straightforward. And, and, they, yeah. yeah. But, but he doesn't meant... mean anything. Like, he's not throwing shade. Yeah. He just, like, wants to know. Right? And then another thing, they're like, we're going to find you a partner. He's like, I don't want a, an Indian girl. Yeah. Is she American? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Guy just, he's so straightforward about yeah. what he wants, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is the funniest thing, dude. Oh my god! So do, you think do you think it's popular for bad reasons? Then no, I think it's just because super I think a lot of people aren't it's watching so it for the wholesome reasons. Though. No, it is wholesome. Yeah. No, I'm it's saying so I'm not saying it's not wholesome. I'm yeah. saying that your average viewer watching it probably isn't watching it for that reason. Yeah, they're I, watching it because they're almost laughing at it, which yeah, isn't a good yeah, thing. Yeah. But no, at least they have I don't. Their, I don't think so. It's like you can appreciate these people. Like they're such colorful people yeah. man. and it's it's like it's such an honest like you know delivery genuine, yeah, yeah genuine delivery you know because you know if if we say something like that yeah. we look like douchebags exactly you know yeah but with, for them it's like it's coming from a good place yeah you know? and then man like in another unfiltered one, raw exactly another one of the dates yeah. one of the girls brings up she's like i like tv shows he's like uh can we please change the subject <laughs> right and she's like, just okay, what do you want to talk en about? Enough of the small right? talk. Come and on. then it shows him going yeah. to the bathroom break. He's like, I think the date's going really well. And then it pans to the girl. She's like, I really like him. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they don't take it. Like, it's no disrespect at yeah, all. Yeah, there's like so nothing awesome. like, they don't they don't look at into things too deeply. Exactly. You know? like, it's all surface level. It, yeah, she's like, value. okay, yeah. we'll change the cover. Like, so yeah. awesome. I can't believe he did that. And there's no resentment. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. It's just... Man, it's so good. Man, it's beautiful to have. Like, at least they're giving them that kind of platform, right? Where exactly. they, they have that opportunity. Because I'm sure it's hard to yeah. like find people. And there's another dude, man. He starts going off. About, yeah. Uh, he's got. A, he shows his collection of swords and then crystals. Yeah. And he's so funny. He literally reminds me of like a modern day Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. yeah. The dude just seems so cool. Yeah. And his parents are always like trolling him. And yeah. he goes, <laughs> 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 his, yeah. his mom's like, maybe you shouldn't bring your sword to the Renaissance Festival. Yeah, yeah, and dad's yeah. like, yeah, it's double edged. You make yourself he's like Dad! oh my <laughs> it's so it's so <laughs> funny man and it's just like man this guy is so passionate yeah, 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 he, gets, yeah, yeah. he gets excited yeah. about things yeah. he's like oh i lost my check what is this like a first of the season or like Dude, yeah 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 it's like there's been a few episodes in the uk yeah they do it and okay. probably probably other places but this is one in like us and it's far like maybe six or six or so people yeah yeah yeah, yeah, like yeah, their, yeah, their journey, yeah, yeah. Man. and there's only like six or seven episodes but it's so good no i gotta check it out man it i gotta is. give it a chance yeah it's one of those shows i knew i knew about and I know what being on the spectrum means, but yeah, I, I, I never, never, never tuned into that one. Yeah. Maybe I'll have to give that a watch. Yeah, yeah, man. Sure. Any other Netflix things y'all are watching right now? Man, I was gonna watch Stranger Things. Uh, oh. I left that a little bit just to uh, give myself some time because the problem with me is like, if I'm watching something, I gotta binge it. Yeah, you know, You're one of those people. Yeah, like I gotta binge it. So I was like, give me, a, give myself a time where I can actually sit down and watch this whole thing through. You know, that's one of the problems with TV shows that are coming out nowadays. Yeah. new new things. They're all being released like obviously one time. 
one season. Yeah. It'll be like six and, and to eight episodes. So long, man. And yeah. you gotta wait a year and a half, two years for the next exactly. one. Exactly. And you watched it like in two days. You can it's watch like, it in two days, tops. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. Man, so it's so like, I, that's what I loved about shows, like back in the, not to sound like a boomer, but like it's on a you weekly basis. Oh, yeah, on a weekly basis, crazy. you know, like, okay, I got this episode. I can wait till next Friday. There's another one drop it, you yeah. know? Dude, that's the new Dexter. You guys see the new Dexter? It's like I still four or five it. months old. Dude, no. it's so good. But that's what how they aired all the episodes on Crave. Yeah. It's like one every Friday. One every Friday. I, and I was looking forward to that so much every weekend, Chelsea. And I was just like, yeah. I, I like that. I wish that I almost, yeah. yeah. Even though you crave for to have it all in, in, in your hands but, at once, it's not a good dude, thing. But even when you binge watch it all at once, you don't appreciate it as much. No, you have to watch it back. Yeah. Because like you eventually get on your phone between episodes yeah. and you miss the first five and the last yep. five of every episode because you're on your phone doing Why something. Why are they screaming? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Did I miss Rewind? something? Exactly. Right, right. Yeah, so uh-huh. I, f- I find the, the weekly release, but again, we're boomers and that's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, ca- uh, I came, funny that uh, I came across a little debate on Twitter and uh, people were just discussing like it was just a little theory some guy came up with it was called like the shopping cart theory and he's like you can really gauge a person if they're good or bad just based off of what they do in a grocery store and whether they're not they return their 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 shopping cart and so he was like a person that returns their shopping cart is not forced you know that like you're doing it out of being a good person out of free will you know nobody's forcing you but the person that just abandons the shopping cart This person will not do anything good unless they're governed or like there's a law behind it. And basically, like you're a douchebag, you know? Well, go ahead, man. You you go, go ahead. You wanted to say That's something? That's total bullshit. Why do you say that? Whoever whoever did that has, has a silver spoon in their mouth. Oh, I, how, I how, heard how? the theory and I agree with it. How? And I think it's total bullshit. Why is that? Okay, so first of all, right. it shows that those people never ever worked at a retail place. Okay. Okay. But you're not working there, bro. But hold on, hold on. I don't think it matters. You can leave your shopping cart wherever in the parking lot. That's not an indication of the kind of person you are. Why? So why, hold on a second. Okay, go ahead. When you go out at night, mm-hmm. and this is this is why I say it's not a big deal. This is the only ten minutes of the day mm-hmm. that the sixteen-year-old kids get to put in their AirPods and fuck around in the parking lot while everybody else is doing the hard blocking faces, the closing, counting the change. The sixteen-year-olds get to put in their music and go fuck around mm-hmm. outside and collect grocery starts carts on a beautiful summer evening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's not the reality. But that, yeah, yes, that's it not, is the no, reality. reality. But the point of the and point of the test or whatever exactly. you're talking about the thing is your has moral. nothing to do with the sixteen-year-olds. Yes, it does. Exactly. I no, it acknowledge doesn't. that. No, 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 no. it does. It ninety-nine. Doesn't have finish your point. I'll finish. No, point. ninety-nine. Oh, 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 okay, ninety-nine point nine nine percent of those people who are leaving the carts out in their parking spots or just whatever, throwing it anywhere. Yeah, they. Aren't even thinking for a second about the sixteen year. It doesn't. Uh, that has to collect 9, 9. this. 9. So I'm the, the point zero one percent. Yes. But the <laughs> point. The point is that the average, well over the average person who's doing this, is someone who probably only cares about themselves yes. or. Oh, they're lazy. They don't really have the time. And to does put not consider back. others. I make yeah, a yeah. conscious decision yeah. sometimes. Bro, you're thinking as if like this 16 year old is looking forward to collecting these they carts are. every day. They they're not. Are. They're not looking forward to collecting it every day. Maybe the first week when they're new no, to the job. Cali. Oh yeah, you know, I I want to okay. do this. This is great. Yo. But no, man, nobody wants to like have to pick after people. Yo, it's TikTok. like just like when listen, listen. Like when you go, when you go to the airport, you right? Can't convince look, me. look. Okay, because you've okay, never let me, done it. Let me get. Let me ask you a question. Okay. When you go to the airport, right? Yes. When you're traveling, right? You know how like w- you're about to take your your stuff out the bin, right? Are you the type to just leave the bins there, or do you stack it at the end, knowing that there's people coming after you that is going to call exactly? And why is that? Hold on. Hold because on. you're considerate of others. Hold on. When you leave, okay. So TikTok, you tell me if you work at a grocery store or Walmart or whatever. If you've ever been on cart duty at the end of the day, when you get to go outside and push those carts and chill with your boys and put your headphones in, is that not a great, enjoyable time? That's probably the best part of your <laughs> yeah, day that you that, get to look forward but to. But that has nothing that to do with it. That is exactly what it has. The two are not. Do. It's not the same. The I'm making a conscious decision to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so so <laughs> you're just the time to put you're, my car. So, what, so, what's, so what's that's your so, idea? You're no saying, I'm a, you I'm a, you, this is what you're saying. I'm going to leave the shopping cart because there's a 16 year old kid that's going to enjoy putting it back. What it sounds it's like is you're using that. It's not about him enjoying that. putting it back. He's taking an extra. Now he gets to delay outside for an extra five minutes to say, yeah, I'm still yeah, doing yeah, carts. Yeah. Well, but if he prefers to be inside? Then he won't volunteer to be on cart duty. He doesn't he have to volunteer. It's yes, part of the do. job. It's part no, of the it's job. Not. So you get you're you're not. You, They so rotate you. You, you can't be you doing volunteer. one duty. You don't. You don't have one duty. You get rotated. I'm yes, pretty sure. Do you want to be like the guy that. who's putting the the things back or, or mopping the floor, or do you want to be out on cart Bro, duty? Bro, who knows? Around? Who knows? Today, Monday, you're gonna be the mopping guy. On Thursday, you you're gonna be the, the shopping cart guy. No, it's probably like a probably like a designated like like a shift. Like everybody, you know what? You're gonna be on shopping cart from assumption. 
No, I'm not. But you're assuming too, bro. You're assuming this guy's gonna bro, have. A, I, you're assuming I, he's gonna I have a great target. time. So guys, what? You, you, had had you, you enjoyed. You enjoyed putting back these chopping. That cards. was the best part of the day for all, everybody, for my entire team. Okay, guys, you can't. Bro, yell. I, I guys, you can't yell over each other. Okay, go it's ahead. It's true, we can. I managed the no, team but I'm of people. It sounds dumb as hell. You okay. gotta talk one at a time. All right, go ahead. Dumb but, as hell. You're dumb as hell for being wrong about this. I'm the only one who ever worked retail out of out of working retail. Working retail. That was the best part of the day for these kids. Okay. Okay. Doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're coming from a place where, okay, you happen to work there and you happen to enjoy doing this. That's like me saying, oh, I've worked as a garbage man before. And you know what? I actually like picking up people's shit that they throw on the ground outside. Facts. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Facts. It makes no... Th no that's fine. That that's this fine. is a different story. No, but it's fine, that you, that's story. fine that it's in your head. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to leave this here because in eight hours, you know, these kids are going to spend a little bit of extra time. That may be true you guys for are you. Speaking from privilege. No, but I'm saying that may be true for you. Right. And you may truly mean what you're saying, but I'm telling you that the way the human mind works is that 99% of these people are lazy. And I'll tell you what, most of the time I roll the cart back. I have from on occasion not done it and it's because it was I was a piece of shit and I was being lazy in the moment and I just Were you to in a off. rush or something? Uh, yeah, not even it might not even be in a rush. I'd just be like, Oh, I'm in a bad mood and I just want to get off and oh it's only right over there and Where would you put I'm, it though? Normally I'm putting car it return. Normally I'm putting Dude, it right in the car return. Dude, I do it 90% of the time too. Yeah, normally I'm putting it right in the car return. That that's what I'm i I'm saying, but when you don't put it in the car return, where are you leaving it? Uh just like Because you need the cart. What? Right to take take stuff back to your cart. That's the whole point, right? Yeah, I take I take the cart to my car. And then, and then where it. do you leave it? I leave it like beside. Your car? my car, yeah, and yeah. then I drive up. But I'm saying that's that's, that's trashy, very bro. that's that's trashy. very um, that's trash. That is trashy. That's, yeah, that's very trashy, um, bro. Well, as opposed to where else would you be leaving? Bro, leave it on the grass. I don't know. Grass like where? Leave it on the... It's a, an entire parking lot of only cars. Bro, there's trees. <laughs> bro, honestly speaking, <laughs> well, that would be so. Why are you rolling it <laughs> all the way <laughs> from <laughs> away you from where it? you could just put it right next to you? You guys have no yeah. idea. Okay, all right, fine. Okay, try to convince us. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just I just did. Listen, and I return my car. But it's not coming from a logical place. Yes, it is. No, it's not. The kid gets to, he's been told what to okay, do wait, all second. day long by middle management. For, forget about the kid. This is the, forget yes. about that kid. Yeah, but nobody's yes. talking okay. about, okay, that's not what this argument, that's not even what I this stems okay, so from. Okay, so look, so I agree with you guys from the perspective. A lot of people, yes, are, are just being lazy, inconsiderate, not th just putting themselves first. I yes. get that. I get that. Yes. But that's I always the point. like the silver lining. But there's a really good YouTube guy. He calls himself the cart narc. Yeah. And he goes around with a safety vest and he goes, whoop, 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 whoop. And, yeah, yeah. and he goes, he's like, please return your cart to the, the cart, uh, yeah. stock lazy yeah. bones. Yeah. Right? And he throws a sticker on their car, yeah. right? Like a metallic. Like if a they don't return thing. it? Yeah. And they usually get out yeah. and he's like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> and, and, and he Does whips it, right it back away, in the yeah. car. And he's like, go put it in the car carousel, you lazy bones. <laughs> right? And he gets them so mad. Yeah, yeah. So he's a man, of, he's the man of the people. Spot. He is yeah. a man of the people. He's and, but like, but where's that coming from though, Nick? It's coming from a monetization. He's monetizing. Oh yeah, he's okay. Now, okay, of course, yes, he's doing it for views, right? But like, 100%. I can tell you, me personally, yeah. If I knew it was my who wants to go do carts, I'm raising my hand. Hundred percent, Kyle, you would be the guy every single time to raise your hand, bro. I want to be inside because where it's, it's air because conditioned, because it's, bro. No, I'm talking no, about like it's an, easy work. It's, it's, it's fun. It's you get to put your work. headphones in. You're you not be really alone. being watched by anyone. I get that. You fuck. You, yeah. you get to I dick get around. That. Yeah. I get that. Okay, that's that's great. But this didn't like imagine. Before yeah. cart duty was ever a thing, yeah. and they created carts for the grocery stores, yeah. and people showed up. They weren't exactly po you don't know things until you test things out. Yeah. Then they realized down the line, oh shit, there's a bunch of lazy fuckers yeah. who are just leaving the carts outside. I guess we have to have a few people at the end of the day volunteer to go collect it. Yeah. Because we're not exactly going to pay people to watch and make sure that they don't. So there were lazy people leaving their carts out. That well created before a job. there were people, yeah, they created this job, but they didn't create it out of kindness. I, I agree. Yeah, they I created agree. it exactly. out of laziness. The only exactly. thing, okay, let's find some middle ground here. Okay, go the ahead. The only thing that we can agree on, bro, most of the time now when I go to the grocery store, I'm only filling the top portion. If you can fill both, <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> fucking rich as yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah, you're rich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you only, if you, and if you fill the bottom layer, yeah, brother. Holy. And if you're only filling the top layer, just get yourself a basket. At that point, you, well, know, you might you might screw out. up like me. Yeah, <laughs> take the basket home. But honestly, man, I remember I, I <laughs> took the basket <laughs> home. He's, bro, he, he stole. <laughs> this this guy's trying to like make the law for for good and evil. Yeah. Bro, this guy's out here stealing. Wait a minute, I'm trying to get them. I'm trying to get them away from their job. I'm trying to take them to my place. They can chill the whole day. Come get the basket no, no, no. back, little boy. Okay. I, have a, I have an honest question though. How do you end up taking the basket with you? <laughs> because I brought the okay, so I didn't. I forgot like bring any bags. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bring this basket to my car and I'm gonna put the stuff in my car. Yeah, yeah. 
So I put the stuff in my car, out of the basket, and then for whatever dumb, like in my back seat, and then for whatever dumb reason, I have the basket, and I just put it in my passenger seat, like in the front. Oh. And I closed the door, and I just started driving off, and I was like half, we're not far away from the grocery store, but I was like halfway home, and I was like, wow, I'm an idiot. I was like, I, I'm like, you know what? Okay, next week when, or whatever, when I go yeah, to the grocery yeah. store, bring it back. Yeah. And honestly, I don't think I ever did. Like, <laughs> I don't know I, where I it went. Did. did I? Okay, maybe, maybe I, I did. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. Maybe it's in the garage. I don't know. That's hilarious. Oh, man. no, I did because someone brought it outside. That's right in the next. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I did yeah, bring yeah. it back like uh, two weeks later. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> hilarious. Not bad, but it was like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Stupid but, shit. No, honestly. Okay. So what is our middle ground here? For what? For this theory, man. What theory? Right now, the shopping cart theory. I think a about. lot of grown adults don't have any respect, and so they leave the car beside their vehicle, right? Because they're inconsiderate and they mm-hmm. don't care if it a damages somebody else's mm-hmm. car. That's another thing. It's, it's a windy day. Problem. <clears throat> Basically, they're just making it somebody else's problem. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That being said, I think the middle ground here is I want to share the perspective with you guys of that kid mm-hmm. who is working. <laughs> it's not all bad, because when you know, it's inconsiderate for other people, especially if the cart corral is empty. And there's carts all around the parking lot. It has to be somebody's job. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah. But what I'm saying, when it's an evening thing, and it's a cool summer evening, mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. just want to be outside. There's somebody that actually somebody's been telling it. you fold clothes all day or restock things or deal with customers. Like, bro, that's a big thing, too. You yeah. want to get away from the customers. Nobody's asking for your help when you're moving mm-hmm. carts. That's I can facts. I can agree with that. Mid- like, I can agree with that middle ground. That I wasn't arguing that this is so unfair to the kids who have to do it. That yeah. I wasn't. Yeah. This was just coming down to maybe the type of person that you yeah. have on average would be doing these sorts yeah. of things. And uh, yeah, of course, you know, that's, that's a job that's relatively easy and, you know, calm free at an end of the day for your average worker who wants to volunteer to do yeah. something like that. Right. Yo, so my pet peeve though, my pet so peeve. No, so no problem there. Yeah. Good. So we agree. Fine middle ground. I like yeah. it. Yeah. My pet peeve though is people will immediately walk into a grocery store mm-hmm. and then stop and try and figure out why they're there. Right, they, they get oh. so overwhelmed when they walk through the double doors and like the air conditioner whoosh, hits yeah, them, yeah. and then they look around. It's like, guys, just keep just, fucking moving. Yeah, just step yeah. to the side at least. Just yeah. keep you going. can you yeah. can tell they're in their own world, and mm-hmm. like so many people they, are clueless. They're man. very clueless. Up. Yeah, in in public spaces, and it's very simple too. Like you can have a grocery list, put in your notes, whatever. Bring out your notes, bro, and then like and that's it. Go cross it off. Worst yeah. case scenario, you got to do another lap. The last thing you want to do in a grocery store is wing things because then mm-hmm. you end up buying more stuff. You have drivers, like, you have drivers like that too on like side roads that yeah. don't even like look behind. Them. They they stop and they're like taking a look at a couple of houses and it's like, okay, I'm right behind you. Let's keep it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah Same yeah, yeah. thing with pedestrians walking. Same yeah, thing with grocery stores. Yeah, you need, to, yeah. You need like, to check people facts. Just keep it they moving. You need to check like, things. Yeah, yeah. Speaking yeah. of that, yo, Nima, shout out you and your brother. You get him to check his email. <laughs> stop leaving us on a red. 100%. Yeah, man. We, we love your work, bro. We love it. We just want yeah. a podcast. It's coming. It's yeah. coming from a place of love, place yeah. of passion. Yeah. Um, bro, the other day I remember you were telling me in the the group chat. You were telling me, "Yo, I never take naps. This is the first time I ever took a nap." You know? Yeah. And me, my myself, I'm a nap guy. I'm you know, like guy. I have to get it in, bro. Yeah. Like around like noonish. That's because you work two like, jobs first of all. Yeah, that too. That too. But like I've always been the type like you know what? Let me take a power nap. You, you know? can't do that. Really? Why not? I just like I'm up. I'm up. Yeah, eh? Most of the time, yeah. Okay, well, well, for me, I need I need that nap. And I was actually reading an article that was oh, talking that was about naps and stuff like that, you know? And um, Power they, naps? The pow- power naps, exactly, right? Okay. So the, the researchers are saying, like, five-minute nap would not be enough, right, for you to get, like, you know, the benefits yeah. of deep sleep, right? So they say that it takes the ideal amount of time for a power nap is 10 to 20 minutes. Wow. A 10 to 20 okay, minutes of, of deep sleep, yeah. right? And uh, once, like, usually, like, when you, after that period, like, if you if you wake up, and you know how sometimes, like, when you take a nap, you overdo it, right? Yeah. And you wake up feeling more tired, right? you're, like, in a deep sleep. Yeah, exactly, something. exactly. And that that that, that period um, where they, like, for example, like, if you oversleep, right, you feel drowsy and whatnot, yeah. right? They say that, that usually lasts up to, like, four hours max, but it can last up to, like, an, about an hour, right, where yeah. you're feeling that drowsiness. And they say in order for you to optimize your sleeping, it's best to sleep 10 to 20 minutes, you know, as okay, a nap. But that's not realistic. So, so, yeah. reading so, it takes so, you 20 minutes to fall asleep. Okay, forget falling asleep. We're talking about deep sleep. I know. 20 minutes of deep sleep. I can't sleep. just sleep on command. That's the whole process. Yeah. yeah it's, I, it's, you're telling me I'm waking up I think your average, your average power napper can pretty much sleep on command. Yeah. Like, I can power nap because I basically go to sleep within two minutes of lying down. What? Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm quick. I can do it. It's really quick. easy. Quick out. I work, I work on my lunches, like once I'm done eating my lunch sort yeah. of thing. 
I'll, I'll go find a spot to just lie down. I know I have like 15 more minutes of lunch. I'll set an alarm for 15 minutes. Nap. I'm done within a minute. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm napping. And then the yes. alarm goes off and I'm back to work. Exactly. I can't do that. I'm what? thinking about where I left that shopping cart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you're well, of course, your car is not a comfy place to nap. Okay, you gotta get home first. <laughs> you're thinking about that kid. Is he having fun? Is it because did of I me? Make his day? Yeah, did I make his day? Think about a thousand things, man. Exactly, but yeah, my naps are important, man. Take your naps. Yeah, I can't do that because and then you wake up and you feel groggy. Yeah, you get reoriented. Yeah, you gotta turn back on the SAS, right? Yeah, you gotta yeah. reboot the system. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about support earlier. <clears throat> Our fans, the people who tune in all the time, we we love their support. Yeah. How about support with your friends or close friends or even like somewhat distant friends? When they have you ever been in an instant when maybe someone you know asks, "Hey, could you put a word in for me at your job to, right. to get a job?" Is that an awkward scenario for you? Or Depends is who that they are. If I know they're a dog fucker, you. I'll tell them. Yeah. Oh, so you'll be straight up with yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael, I, we know you hate confrontation. No, but I'm saying... Me? Okay, I, okay, I, but I hate why? confrontation, bro. I love it. Yeah, you're... But if you're, but if you're okay with confrontation in that aspect, right. why do they even have your number and their messaging? Oh, uh, man, you know what it right. is, man? And I think, I think with people, it's like, you know what? Instead of me trying to go and put in the footwork... Let me see if I can, you know, get somebody to vouch for me on, on my behalf, you know? And with that is the thing with that is you're putting your name on the line, you know? No, like, I know. So, That's why. You know, if you if you bring somebody to a company and 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 you know this guy's might be shaky, you know, you're gonna have to hold that L, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. and, and it's gonna look bad on you in the yeah. long run because nobody's gonna take your word mm -hmm. for yeah. anybody that comes after that. So you gotta make sure the person that you're you're vouching for is really solid. Wait, wait, and, wait. just yeah. like that time you worked at the airport, your cousin got you a job and you yeah. left the same day. Yeah, yeah. But that, <laughs> but bro, that was like what? It was like a, I, I, Wait, that bro, was I you, right? That was me. I that mean, was, he is speaking out of experience. That was me, bro. <laughs> that was me, bro. But the thing was, bro, I I didn't like making sandwiches. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, you went to your cousin. You're like, yo, yeah, hold man. this L. Yeah, I fam. don't appreciate. I'm it. sorry, bro. You did you, you did the leg work, but can't do. And that's more of that. But that's not like a career job, bro. You know, when you when it's different when you have like somewhere where you know like it's, this is what you you studied and this is what you you know want to be in long term. You know. Bro, I'm I'm there at a fast food restaurant, check to check, bro. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm grinding for the next check. You know what you they know? say? Like working on the weekend. Like usual, usual, bro. That's what it is. You know, everybody. so that's why they did that in the fast food, making that so every kid bumping it on the way to McDonald's in their parents' car. Yeah, can have that little motivation. Mm -hmm, not yeah. even paying for gas. Yeah. So what are you? Are you the type to just be like, yo, bro? I'm no, sorry. I've 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 put in recommendation before. I like been like, yeah, no problem. It just depends on what. For who? Um, couple. Uh, high school friends back in like uh, part time jobs and stuff. Nothing mm. with my current work. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't think I've ever really been asked with my current work. Yeah. Um, but I do know some people with my current work who have put word in for someone like, oh, you know, they'll end up yeah. being there for like a month or two. And it's so funny. Some of them are just like so bad. And it's like, man, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done yeah, that. Like, like, I would. There's guys who like will come for two months. You can tell right off the bat they're not all there. Yeah. In the head, and there was there was one guy. <laughs> Who after his first day working, he's like, I'm a mechanic now. So he went out first night after work. He went and got a tattoo of a wrench on his <laughs> first day. Yo, that guy loves his job, though. I respect <laughs> it. No, he loves his job, bro. Is two he still months? there? Bro, two. No, he's not. Two months after working, he, he quit. He was going to be fired anyways, but he quit. He never got a single tool in those two months. The only tool he got was the tattoo <laughs> of the wrench on his Bro, arm. Bro, <laughs> that's, the one, that's the one embarrassing. Thing, the one thing you don't do that I learned is you don't hire friends, like you say. Yeah. Yes. And don't hire somebody else's family. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. That's don't awkward. Don't ever do that. Yeah, yeah. Even if they say my son wants a job, like, you take that risk. That's, that's, a, that's a big risk. Because, uh, you know, it's not just going to be something that... Is awkward at it's work. Hard on it's gonna it's gonna be hard on the families. And, and unless you know, the, the, like you really know this. this uh, unless you know the person that yeah. you're hiring. Yeah, but like, man, I find what's really fucked up is you see the polarity between people who are like raised properly, right. that like are like I cannot embarrass my parents. They mm -hmm. work their ass off. Yeah, and then you have the other people who coast because it's like my parents work here. It's so weird to see right. that they're one or the other. Yeah, they're either underperformers or overperformers. It's very weird. Yeah, yeah I yeah. hired an underperformer one time. Yeah, there's no that, there's no middle ground. It's there. a very mm -hmm. gross like yeah hard i had to fire them really yeah. Yeah. what's that like it was like really awkward because it's just like what's considered under, what's fucking? what's what's considered underperformer though just, to you just just lazy mm -hmm. always on their phone not doing their job not taking it seriously it's just like man like you have a family member that works here like 
are you you're embarrassing them do you understand that? right of right? course like, yeah so it's just weird it was a weird conversation it's just like i was i was shaking my head i'm like i don't understand like you're acting like you don't want it like you deserve to be here you don't want to be here i don't know what it is but it doesn't matter right? yeah like but whatever pull up your socks bro exactly. if, if you made if you were guaranteed six figures yeah would you rather be the employee or the employer if i was guaranteed six fingers Ooh. Six figures as Ooh. the employee, bro. This crew gets six figures wherever we show up. Doesn't matter. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Sold out dates, baby. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> would I want to be the employee? Doesn't employee? matter, bro. I mean, when it comes to like, I feel like management position, you you have less work to do. Mm. It's more of like people management, mm. you know. Um, so I think I'm I'm good with people, bro. I'll manage. Yeah, the at people. some point, you're always being managed. That's true, because there's always really somebody matter. above you. Yeah, you're right. Always, like it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you're just always caught in the middle of something. Mm. Yeah, that's it's it. true. It's true. I guess the the lesson out of this is uh, do your own thing, fam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know your worth, right? Yeah, nice. know your worth, king. That's what they say. You know, hundred percent. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, bro. But was that a shot at Nima? <laughs> How was that a shot at? Is he managing his brother? Or is brother managing him? Mm, questions I need uh, answers. Nemo, we're just kidding. We just want you to reply to the email, yeah, bro. bro. That's get it, your man. brother to reply, man. Let's get you on the podcast. We need you here, bro. That's it. Facts, hundred percent. Honestly, it's just the it's the bare truth. Yeah. Uh, there's an article that I want to pull up. But I can't remember it. <laughs> yeah. That's, so that's not gonna help us. <sighs> Shit, bro. It's okay, man. It's Michael, okay. give us an article. Bro, give I already one. told you I didn't. Yeah. Oh, one what? thing. One thing I did. Uh, one thing I didn't want to talk about. I went to, on Friday. I went and got. Um, Jerk chicken. And I went to a new jerk chicken place. I often go to a different jerk chicken place for yeah. Fridays at lunch with work guys. And um, the new one that I went to mm. had the price of the meal. It's a huge meal. It's 14 bucks. Okay. And then when I paid for it, it was 14 bucks. Mm-hmm. Right. I was like, oh, God, I love a place that is, shows you what the price is after tax. Yes. Yeah. The price is the price. Right, it's right. not like, oh, this is 12 bucks, but after I pay, it's 15, 15, 50. Yeah. Why is it not mandatory? Why is it not mandatory and legislated like by government? Yeah. That every food place, business should have to have the price post tax. Because, because it's not I'm, applicable because to it's not a, it's, it's, And it's not applicable to is, the product. Is tax not applicable to literally everything? No. No, no not everything. Native. Don't no. have to pay full HST. Exactly. Not every. Uh, you can't do that. True. Province to province too. And things. also like when you're reconciling like a cost of goods sold. Mm-hmm. Like... I make it very clear like that this is my price in the automotive industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This money isn't my money. This is the government's money. Right. Right. So especially to like, you think about that, like a $14 jerk chicken lunch. I haven't considered the government's money. Well, think about that's it now thing. when you're buying a hundred thousand dollar Escalade. Right? right. And the 13 grand people are like, Oh shit, that's an extra thousand dollars a month. Right. If you're financing it yeah. for a year, if, let's say two year finance, right. $500 a month. I make it very clear to people. That's not my money. This is a government. I'm not yeah. taking it. This is a government's money. This yeah. is for Justin Trudeau. Sure. Yeah. So sure. it's very important. Like mentally, I think you need to be able to separate that. As well, too, there's different implications. The reason you don't do that is because when you're taxed on things, for example, like leases, mm-hmm. it's not a straight shot. Like you're not taxed on the whole balance. You're taxed on, you know, the 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 it's net a amount less the residual, right? Yeah. So sure. so that's why like you can't it, gauge it. It becomes very complicated for mm-hmm. some things, like mm-hmm. especially even with cell phones or car payments or yes. like things that you're leasing yeah. or renting. Yeah. It's not because everything has a different type of ca- bi- tax. That's Every, a different tax, right? Yeah. yeah. So th- that's that's one of the reasons. I don't I know what the automotive uh, industry is like. They have a separate tax for vehicles, or well, no? Well, t- well, just um, we're talking HST. Uh, just HST, okay. Just HST. Everything yeah. else has to be all in. Like mm. there's levies and freight and air tax and stuff like that's that. That's what I'm like, saying. Yeah, yeah. Like that's that's built in. Um, you have to show all in. Is pricing. that built in, or the, you, you have to show all you in? You showed in the breakdown after. HST. You showed it in the breakdown after, right? Yeah, you have to show it in the breakdown yeah. after. But everything is plus HST. So OMVIC is a council that governs on Ontario mm-hmm. car okay. pricing. But everything is, is it has to be inclusive uh, plus HST. You can right. show that separately. Right. But that's one of the big reasons is because like it uh, tax applies differently to a lease. And you make it very clear to a consumer, like, this is not my money. Right. Right. But yeah, I agree with your point, Michael. Like, it's annoying, especially like when Canadians like, dude, that's the thing. When you go to Pennsylvania, and they don't have any... State tax, right? I think mm-hmm. it's Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Florida doesn't. I don't know about Pennsylvania. Yeah, Florida's like four percent or five percent or something. Like, okay. sh- like low, but like, well, yeah, the price you pay is like nineteen dollars. Sure, it's like okay, it's like Shoot. nineteen. Well, no, Florida is no state tax. I thought there was a state no. Tax. It's no, that's no the federal tax, tax yeah. you're paying. Yeah. Florida has zero state tax. Okay, yeah. but like, yeah, but you still owe tax. On of course. Yeah, purchase, yeah, yeah, purchase, yeah, 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 yeah. But in Pennsylvania, I, th- I think there's like, yeah, no. no that's state like tax. when you go to a restaurant and uh, you get taxed, 
And then they ex expect you to tip on top of that. Bro, I already taxed the government. I already tipped the government, fam. That's expensive. You know? Like, that's expensive. Come on, fam. Respect it. Yeah, that's exactly you know? it. 100%. Yeah. But I mean, like, some places, like, I remember when I was in uh, I was in Saudi, too. There's no tax on anything. So whatever the price is, that's what it they is. They do that to keep tourism you know? high because it's all the oil, right? Yeah. They lose a lot of money by doing that. Did you know that? Yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, they do. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but well, okay. I guess they offset so, it with the tourism, right? So, yeah. so if if tourism's so important, but they're not getting any money from tourism, if they're not taxing, they're it. definitely getting money off. Well, off businesses, tourism. they're getting money yes. from the businesses. Yeah, yeah. Are they tax money. businesses. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, but, but the I don't think it is. Don't there's no it. income tax, though. Yeah, there's no income tax. Really? Yeah, bro. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't they have income no, tax? No, no, not? there's no income tax, bro. Strange. What you earn is what you earn. Huh. Mm. Yeah, which is nice, man. Yeah, but what do they earn though? Earn whatever we're making, but you don't get taxed on it. No, I know, but what is their income like in comparison to? I wouldn't know that. I because I know, know I know a place like Florida, their income ain't that great. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, they don't get depends. taxed, so that's yeah. that's a huge thing. Yeah. And I do think it's still better. To, it's better to be there. Yeah. They're making more in the end, but it's the difference isn't actually that. Right. I'm not crazy too because I'm not too sure. I think it was uh is also I, uh, I have a friend that lives out there too in Dubai. And I, I'm pretty sure they don't have income tax uh, uh, over there. In, in I Bob, love sure. I love when we get to the speculative part yeah, of our yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, no, there's no income <laughs> Where tax. There's nothing that's know. certain. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. There's no income tax. Yeah, 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 pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure, fam. Pretty sure, And then fam. retroactively when I'm editing the clips, I'm like, all of this is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> None of this is usable. Do a quick Google search. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys, facts, would bro. you guys consider people like more uh, more lime people or lemon people? Uh, lemon. Lemon. No lemon. You guys don't like these lime drinks? Mm, it's all right, bro. They're fine, it's but right. if we're talking about a lime... I feel like limes are a bit more spicy. In general? Spicy? spicy? Yeah, a little what bit are you spicy. White? You know, they got, got a little, full white. they got a little oomph on it, you know? You got full white. Yeah, and yeah. It's a little spicy. Not, lime's a bit spicy. Oh, man. <laughs> Why are you no. saying like that? I like the lemon. I like the lemon. Really? You the lemon's like, better. Uh, what is, you sound like Jim Carrey from The Grinch. Oh. I'm just a bit spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's is, my fam? dog? Because it is, fam. It is, bro. Yeah, but yeah. why? What are you? More of a uh, lime guy? I like limes. Yeah? yeah. I, can, I can tell that's why you asked. Mm. Yeah. Like you, you drop did. it in the drink and you're yeah. good. No, I just run out of things to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> <be honest. clears throat> you guys have anything else. Yeah. So you, you call it... Uh, because you work, actually, this is one thing I did want to talk about. Mm. Because you work at the airport. Right. Um, Exposing them, okay. Yeah, Exposing honestly, the man. Sorry. Still. Sorry. I won't, well, I didn't give out your full gov. You yeah. just know your first name. So, yeah. Anyways, um, do you notice that every man and woman, like, looks their best at the airport? Most. No. Mm, looks their they, best. They, mm. they come, when they're flying, they usually wear the outfit that they really like. You know, I... Or comfortable, but also they really like. So... I, I can't speak on other people, but from my own experience, when I'm traveling, the first thing on my mind is comfort. Mm -hmm. I could care less how how it looks to people. It's comfort. So I'll wear like sweats, sweater, you know, usually the flight gets cold. You know, you need a sweater too. But yeah. it's all about comfort. You got to have slippers. But I it's a good it's a good looking comfort though, no? Yeah, yeah like of you're course, not wearing of course. A you're not ragged. No, definitely no. not. Bro, what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. There's people who look like homeless. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's have true, you ever bro. seen people going on flights to Florida at 7 in the morning? Yeah, bro, because it's so that's 7 a.m. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's true. It doesn't mm. matter. Because when you, uh, exact, like, f obviously when you're traveling that early, that's your flight time. But by the time you check in, is like 5 a.m. Yeah. People are like, you know, drowsy yeah. and all yeah. that stuff. Right? Nobody cares about what they're wearing at that time, you know? Yeah. What, are you, what are you getting at, Mike? Hmm? Yeah, what are you trying what to get, get at? at? No, <laughs> I was just gonna so generally like going to say, very dependent answer when, the time I, when, you fly. I, when I go, it might, and maybe it does depend on when you fly, but I feel yeah. like when I go to the airport, half, like, even the guys I can shout out, but like the girls and the guys, I just find like, they just look better at the airport. Like, I right, go, like, yeah. damn, like everyone brought their A game today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. <laughs> Everyone's like looking at each other and yeah. like, damn, this, the this airport, guy is The girl airport looks fit, good. I'm not going to lie, has to be on point. It does. That's but, what I'm saying. But yeah, it is a thing. More, more, um, more importantly is the comfort. Oh, 100%. 100%. Pe people who go people go there if they're wearing like leather or some shit. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, that's, well, that's just. You, you lost it. <laughs> Bro, the one thing I never understood is people wearing jeans on a flight. What? Yeah. That How the are hell? Man. On a flight? I get sleep in jeans. <laughs> you can't sleep in general. Sometimes I'll shower in jeans. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> Brother, if you're wearing jeans on a flight, nah, that's there's something wrong with you. Bro. No, yeah. it's not true. Bro, how's that comfortable? Because some jeans have spandex in them now. They're stretchy. They're comfortable. Okay. Bro, okay. Forget. Are those okay, really fine. even jeans? Yes, All right. So forget that. That's not even true. You're talking about jeans with the jandex. Now? <laughs> Jean cargos. Yeah. No, Jargos. but I'm talking, I'm talking about like actual jeans that you got to button up. Zip with a belt. Up. 
with a belt. There's, wrong, there's bro. nothing wrong with that. I can sleep in jeans. Denim. No problem. Bro, you have trouble taking naps. How are you sleeping in jeans, bro? Maybe that's why I have trouble taking naps. Yeah, naps. exactly, bro. You gotta get comfortable, man. Yeah. What? No, I've, I don't I like wearing understand. sweatpants when I fly. Do you want to know why? Why? Yeah. Because I'm the king of things falling out of my pockets and sweatpants. Uh, but that's why you don't keep things in your pocket, yeah, bro. You have to have that side pocket? bag, no, that no, little no. side bag. You got your Gucci bag? Come you, on. We have the Gucci Louis. You Trying keep to, that in there, fam. You want It's an airport. It's an airport. You literally have carry on with you. You have a little backpack. You have whatever it is. If it's a girl, it's a purse. You guys are saying this to me like I haven't, like I've flown in the past two and a half years damn you're right you haven't i haven't yeah free my guy free my yeah. guy bro this guy we're this talking all this good for another eight years yeah oh yeah, good thing crazy, bro. bro it's a good thing you did because i was seeing a, a a video they released on like the people waiting for uh the passport lines yeah, yeah. it's ridiculous okay, right so now I, I got a story did you guys ever hear about the time i changed my name no so i changed my government name mm -hmm. right and so when you change your name in canada you basically you need two pieces of id that you have to mail in yeah. right and you have to mail in your passport, like your actual passport, right? And so what happens is basically to get your name changed, you do that, you mail it in. And I remember I had gotten it back um, at some point. I remember we were packing for a trip and my brother's bulldog took a bite out, like he started eating my passport, right? So I had to get a new passport, basically. But this was already at the time where I had already submitted the documents. So my name like was being changed. So I didn't have the government documents to prove who I was oh. to request a new passport. And my name was already like, it was only supposed to take four to six weeks on the government website. They took like 14 weeks, right? <laughs> so all my other stuff, my like in my birth certificate, you got to mail in your birth certificate because that's no good anymore because you're a new person, right? Yeah. So I remember being, it was the most stressful thing ever, basically. My birth certificate was gone. I had another piece of ID that was gone. And this passport was the only thing tying me to this old name. So I had to request a new one with the old name. Oh and they're just like, God. you have to prove who you are. I'm like, I can't. can't. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not, for, and I remember, I don't remember how I ended up getting this done. But they literally, use, like mail or something? Dude, uh, literally, I don't even remember how it happened. But literally like 24 hours before I was supposed to go on this vacation, it was too late to cancel everything. Because mm -hmm. the dog ate the stuff like a, literally a week before. Yeah. And I ended up getting a the rush dog on the passport. Bro, literally, <laughs> bro, that you used a childhood like, like oh go to God, the, the dog ate my homework type L of thing. Literally, man, I remember bringing my passport like to to the the place with like bite marks in it, and I'm like, guys, I don't know how else to tell you. This is like who I am. Here's my credit card statements. Here's everything else. I'm like. I'm literally in the process of a name change, and it was the most stressful thing ever. Yeah, and the, and it took t 14 weeks, bro. Bro, it was the longest amount of time I think I've ever waited, and I was yeah. so worried because I'm like, I'm, I don't exist. I would think that the, the I'm process. Not real on paper yeah, anymore. yeah. I would think the process is a lot easier though. Four to six weeks is all. And you have to mail to in your birth certificate, your passport. Yeah, what else? Gotta, so yeah, sorry, I, I'm wrong. You don't have to mail in your passport. Okay, but you can use another supporting document. Right. right, so basically, driver's license. Driver's license? I don't remember what it was, yeah, that I had health used. Card. But, but health card, probably, yeah, in. yeah, like legit, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I remember. So, the process of obviously getting a new passport, you got to use your birth certificate, like another piece of ID. I yes. literally just didn't have it. Oh my it god, that's so, so stressful, that's man. stressful, bro. Yeah, that's don't ever lose your passport and then change your name, <laughs> 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 or just don't have a dog near you, don't bro. Do that, right? Yeah. And I remember the the lady when I was trying to get the tickets changed too from Air Canada. I was like, I don't know because I booked the tickets in the new last name. Because I was expecting the old last name to come through. Oh, so no. I had to fly under the old last yeah, but that, name. Yeah, but you can... Oh, sorry. And they, and they make it so difficult because they're like, there's a lot of international students who abuse this. So that's why we don't change Ab tickets. Geez. Abuse what? what the name mean? changes. The name changes. Like, I'm Johnny Wang, yeah, but yeah. my real name is Jason Quing or something, right? And what is their, what, so they what is their motive? So they block tickets under like certain prices, yeah. and then they'll end up selling tickets amongst each other. Yeah. Oh. Because they all have like, oh, they're like, oh, well, that was my Canadian name. I realize I have to use my Chinese name or my passport That's name crazy. or whatever. Oh. So this lady's like, it's very, very common for people abuse, like buying tickets students. and then try and change it. Right. And then they try and like sell tickets at like a discount to their friends and family and buddies and all that. Right. And she's like, in this case, I don't think you're doing that. I'm like, yes. Thank <laughs> yeah. You. Thank, thank you. you for giving me the benefit yeah, of the doubt. I don't like, yeah. you wouldn't believe this story. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. If I heard that your dog ate your passport, I would have laughed. Literally. Dude, I had yeah. pictures. Yeah. I have pictures of this dog. Like, I was like, look, it's real. This is the dog. Before I surrender it, this yeah. is the dog. This is the passport. Yeah. That's like, one of those things you got to get a photo of right away. Like, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, no one is going to believe this. And, bro, it was the most menial thing like it, one of the pages was like the corner was ripped and like the picture was everything was all good like yes. you could read me i was legible so they they consider that you cannot use you it can't, it was tampered with oh my god so yeah. then i remember like they punched a hole through it yeah then, they punched the hole yeah, yeah they punched the hole oh. once and then they're like okay this is no, no longer good yeah. yeah and i remember i was like man 
Yeah. I, st- I still have That's like my crazy. old bad passports that have the whole bunch. Couple. What are you yeah. saving them for? I don't keep. I don't, I don't know keep why. Them. I, I still them have out. them. I just know that I have. Yeah, them. I just shred. You just shred it, bro. Yeah. Get rid of it. Yeah. 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 Like, maybe I'm. Just, yeah. Maybe I'm just nervous. Bro, I, I don't understand people that always get, they they get the five year man. Just get the ten year. Ten year. Yeah. Honestly, bro. It's ten years. Stress yourself out. Get the yeah. Ten. It literally. Literally. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I had a friend that was complaining about it, like waiting through the line. Said the line's ridiculous. Is wrapping around the corner. I think you know the dude the one in the right morning. Here. In the morning, right around here at Dunwin Drive, bro. There's like a driver's license or like a citizenship. Yes. Yes. It wraps around on the building before 8 a.m. Like bro. what? How is the government this inefficient? Yeah, bro, it's like, like it there should be so there should be like an online thing that you can do to get your passport, bro. No why, question. Why are people still lining up like this? No question. And like I think honestly, if we were able to team up with Nima Naz, <laughs> we could tackle this problem, problem easily together. Easily, easily, <laughs> easily bro. We Nick, could fix it for the Canadian Nick checks, yes. Nick checks time. Nima Naz. <laughs> 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 it's been ten minutes since last minute. I, <laughs> I gotta get it in one more time. You know? Honestly, bro, if you yeah. just come on the podcast, I think we could fix a lot of the problems with the canadian uh yeah passport he, he, passport would, system he, right he would be a great guest man yeah have a man. Lot of he would be 100 if only if only he showed up one time if only he responded to us yeah man but it's okay we got 905 pulling up soon we're really excited you know that one's gonna Jason's be a good gonna one be so chill it's gonna man. be a good one bro it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a lot of fun michael give us the last party piece of knowledge here yes what well, yes. do you have uh do you have anything in common oh man <sighs> <laughs> man, other than the fact that I was complaining about a passport lines, man, nothing, nothing other than that, bro. Guys, we don't have to stretch it if we don't. We <laughs> add it. I ain't got <laughs> nothing else, bro. I ain't got nothing else, bro. Okay, hit us with the outro. The Tell hit. the people what you need from them. Bro, first of all, what I need people is support. Yeah. The number one thing you can do for us is just support us. It ain't hard. Just a click, a like, a comment. Goes a long way, man. Give us five stars on Spotify. You know, and give us a, f- yeah. Give us a comment, yeah. Slap that five star on it, man. And if we suck and we've fallen off, tell us that too. Personally, Bro. don't give us, don't abuse the rating. Just mm-hmm. DM us. Tell just us tell us, suck. guys, if you're talking over each other, just let us know. Yo, calm that shit down. We gonna fix it. Yeah. You know? And if you agree with me about the carts, make sure that's known. And if you disagree, please make sure you please destroy the Lord. comments. <laughs> and let him know, bro. No, yeah, There's let no him know. <laughs> let him know. I'm no, I don't you, want that. <laughs> yeah, bro, don't destroy Nick. Actually, leave him alone, fam. But yeah, episode forty-one, man. It's been a pleasure. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in once again. Yeah, it's your boys. We're out. We're out. Yo, Callie. Yeah. Just before we go. Yeah, man. Say his name one more time, Arnold. 